All right, what's up everyone? So in the last video, I reviewed the MTM PF22 foam cannon. I explained in that video that I bought it as a kit and I would be reviewing the other pieces in the kit down the road. So today we're going to be reviewing the, foam, the, the uh, pressure washer wand that they give you uh, or that you can buy separately. Um, and I will be comparing it against the, the McKillens that I always use and uh, it's a great little staple. Again, my, this one's beat up because I use it all the time. You can see it's all scratched and all that kind of good stuff, but it's just because it's a workhorse, it does a fantastic job. Right now, this is in stock. Sometimes it's not. The link that I'll put down below will take you to the listing. Now that listing has an option that has a standard connection at the bottom or the 3 8 quick connect with a swivel. Now that's the one you want. It's around 42 bucks, I think, somewhere right around there. Has the standard quarter inch quick connect on the front, which is standard across, you know, so all your uh, accessories can go onto the end of it. Now, uh, this also says that it's rated to 3,000 PSI and 2.6 GPM. So, that's not that high, but it's perfect for all your electric pressure washers. For car detailing, that's all you need, guys. You don't need anything more than that. That's perfect. Looking at the SGS, SGS28 from MTM, right off the bat, guys, very similar construction. Um, couple differences to note right off the bat, but um, it, says, it states that it is rated to 4,060 PSI and 12 gallons per minute, so substantially more, six times more GPM. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, outside of that, they both have the little locking mechanism, so while you're storing it, you don't have to worry about it, um, you know, spraying you. So that's good, put that back. Uh, one other thing that just shows the quality of this thing is on this one, there's nothing on the back piece. So when you pull it, it hits plastic to plastic, makes a little noise, no big deal at all. But just take, showing the extra time that they put into these things, there's a little red uh, piece of like a rubberized, texturized piece there. So it's just a softer and doesn't knock all the way down, it's just a softer connection point. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to be opening these up also, so I'll show you guys the differences within that. But just right off the bat, guys, the connections on these guys, as you can see on the McKillens, it's brass. On the MTM, it's stainless. Stainless is known to be more corrosion resistant. Now, I've never had any issues with my brass ones ever, ever, ever. But if you're concerned with that, the stainless is a nice feature. Um, it looks pretty similar to the swivel below. Um, obviously, I have to put the quick connection on here but the swivel feels very, very nice. Very, very nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing together really quickly. Um, here's my quick connection here. So I'll just have to spin that in. I am going to wrap it with some Teflon tape um, just to seal it up. So we'll do that really quickly just to make sure that we're not preventing any leaks from happening down the road. So obviously we'll tighten that down into the swivel piece. We're gonna need to get two wrenches to tighten that down. All right guys, so you need one wrench for this side to hold it in place. Because it's a swivel, it's gonna to wanna to move on you. Okay, and then we'll take this one for the other side and tighten it down. Good to go. Nice and snug. All right, as you can see, the swivel doesn't seem as fluid, to be perfectly honest, as the one on the McKillens. Now, the McKillens I've been using, so that may be why. Um, they do tend to loosen up over time and get a little more fluid. This one, though, you can hear. Let me hear. Sounds great. Versus the MTM. You can hear it grinding a little bit, right? So, again, that just may, may loosen up over time and get better but right off the bat, the McKillens does seem smoother. Okay guys, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my quick connection onto the front. Again, uh, I'm gonna Teflon tape that. Okay, and we will tighten that guy down. And 
and we're good to go. So now we are all set. Now we have a full setup and a full setup. Really quickly guys, just on the outside, just taking this off, I'll put it up here so you can hear. And putting it back in. Good to go. And so you can hear it on the MTM. Pretty equal, I wouldn't say there's any difference there. I mean, just right off the bat though, just McKillen's. I'm just depressing the quick connect. Sounds good. The MTM. It sounds a little grindy, but again, I don't think it matters over time. It's probably just gonna loosen up and get perfect as well. So that's all good there, guys. Functionality between these two, they're gonna work the same as far as like rinsing and foam canning because it just depends on the size of tip that you have on the end of it. Um, so we're not gonna test the performance, but we are gonna open these up now, look at the internals, see if we can spot any differences there. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and open these up. Now, already right off the bat, there is one difference. Um, the MTM has one, two, three, four, wow, well, geez, six uh, screws, and they are, are a T10 which is this kind of funky um, connection point. The McKillens has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws, and they are uh, standard Phillips head. So they are also in different places. We have two up here, just one at the back on the MTM. The McKillens has two, three there, two down here, and then the MTM has one in the handle and the McKillens does not. So um, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna open the McKillens first. All right guys, so here we go. So it looks like we have a stainless tube up to here and then at this point, starting here, we have all brass. Let's go ahead and open up the MTM. Again, I'm using a T10 screwdriver for this. All right guys, all the screws are out. Let's go ahead and separate this guy. And yes, so you, Another thing you want to make sure you don't lose your little red tab that just fits in right there. And uh, that's your little compression point. So don't lose that. So guys, as you can see, this thing, the entire thing is stainless. Well, I guess, I don't know if that's stainless or not, but um, internal components wise, this one, I mean, just right off the bat, the, the trigger can come off. Let me pull this out. So the trigger comes off, everything's nicely lubed up. Oops, sorry. Everything has, is nicely lubed up um, for longevity. Here's the whole unit itself. Okay, so everything looks really, really good there. I'm going to put that back inside. Okay, and here is the McKillens. And it's a little bit different. So this one, the MTM, the trigger, the, the actual trigger portion of it seats down into the plastic of the encasing. So as you can see right here, guys, there's a little hole for it right here. So that's what it sits in, just like that. So that's why it's lubed up because it's just plastic on plastic there. Now on the McKillens, it's actually a, a pin through another brass piece. So it runs freely, um, but I actually like, I think, I mean, I, obviously I'm not a, a uh, pressure washer wand engineer like the guys at MTM are, but the McKillen seems like a better design to me. Um, maybe it's not, but it just seems like the plastic could wear down and break over time. So the fact that it's a pin through brass seems like that's gonna be, gonna last longer. Um, if it actually does, I do not know, but it just seems like it to me, right? So that's all good. Everything else looks about the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and reassemble these guys. Again, I'm gonna put the little red bump stop deal right back in there. Oops, I also need my trigger. Don't wanna forget that. 
All right, so then the trigger, and that's another thing is we just have to make sure that that hole lines up for the other end of the trigger. Otherwise we're gonna have issues. There we go, we're good to go. Um, I'll screw that back together in a second. The McKillens is super easy. The whole thing is one piece. Just put it back in the casing of the, of the uh, gun shape here and put it down and that's it. You guys are ready to go with that one. So I, again, I just gotta screw these back down and that's it. So I'm gonna do that really quickly and then we'll talk about this. All right guys, so there you have it. You have the MTM SGS 28 and you have the McKillens with the standard uh, 3 8 with, with a swivel. Which one do you like better? They're very, very, very similar. Again, for car detailing, especially if you're using electric pressure washers, guys, this is all you need. It is rated to 3000 PSI, 2.6 GPM. That's all you need. This guy is rated much higher at 4060 PSI and 12 gallons per minute, I believe, right? Yeah, 12 gallons per minute. So it's overkill, but it does function nicely, it, absolutely. Now opening these up, guys, yes, you do get more uh, stainless steel again. However, I've never had an issue with my brass connections ever. Um, so keep that in mind. And then the only other thing, guys, is I personally like the connection point for the trigger on the McKillens more than the MTM. It just, the MTM seems easier to pull than the McKillens. So if you have a really weak hand, definitely go with the MTM. It's much easier to pull. Um, now, under pressure, I don't know. Actually, I'll test this in a second to see if it changes anything under pressure. If it does, I'll tell you. Otherwise, it, it's easier to pull. Um, but outside of that little bit of stain, stainless steel and having a higher rating technically, which you don't need uh, when you're detailing cars, um, is, it, is it worth the extra money? So guys, this thing, is 80 bucks, I believe, right around 80 bucks, 79.99 for the MTM SGS 28. The McKillens, 46 bucks. So about half the price. It's what I use, guys. I, I, I use it every day. It's all beat up. As you can see, it's all scraped up. It works fantastic. Is the MTM worth the 90 bucks? Yeah, it's a fantastic pressure washer wand. Amazing. Um, and you get the quick connects with the swivels and, and the, whole, the whole nine yards all stainless steel. Now. Is it worth 90 bucks? Yes. Is this worth 90 bucks? Yeah, but it's only 46 bucks. So that's where I lean. But if you have this, guys, fantastic choice. I don't see any, you're, I don't think you're gonna have any problems other than possibly that plastic wearing out inside where the trigger sits. Um, but that's the only thing that seems weird to me. Um, just really quickly too, it is textured on the back of the MTM, which is nice. Uh, the McKillens is textured on the sides, not the back. Um, so just a little difference there, but that's it guys. That's your review on these on this one and the comparison to this one So I hope that helps you guys. Please make sure you like the video Make sure you subscribe turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos coming up and we'll see you on the next one